Hey Coders, and welcome to my new gameplay video of the new Stargazer Gecko. A new patch has arrived and I'm going to crack up a new fresh ship with you guys. It's going to be my first time on the new ship type and I felt like, let's record that and have some fun while blowing myself up. I'm Iken and we're going to dismantle this new ship and explore its new content together. Ideal if you want to have a first glimpse on it without somebody telling you how everything works while you just want to know what's new. And if you like this content, check out my channel, have a look at the uh, games I'm playing and uh, maybe there's something for you. And with a tiny little subscription you won't miss any future content. Alright, so the Stargazer seems to be from the outside, just like any other gecko we, we scrapped before. So, let's uh, get right in there and see what's different now. Um, I was very very excited when I saw the announcement for the Stargazer Gecko and I didn't expect it to be delivered that quickly but there we go all friends here deliver so at the first glimpse this looks damn complicated there's only one airlock entering this place it's already depressurized there's battery packs there's a computer terminal um, soda hey let's have a drink Yum. I can uh, press the X button and uh, just pick up that stuff. It doesn't do anything, but um, it saves you from accidental laser fire and uh, spreading fires <laughs> in the space. They're just nasty. Okay, so I discovered the uh, reactor and uh, no, not, not the reactor, the, the engine unit. So this looks like a crew compartment. Let's get some data drives, and what's the jobs here? Oh, well, nothing too unusual at the first glimpse. I'm going to uh, check that out later. So there's uh, a bed, and I gotta say, beautiful design. This looks like some uh, some place where actual people were working and living in. Love it. Good job, man. Good job. Oh, look, there's even a repair kit hidden in there. Haha. <laughs> so... Spaced engineering never was more profitable. Seriously, I like that. I like what I see here. So, I can laser my way in there um, through the clasp if I need to. But first I want to um, check out what's uh, there besides that. So, here's the reactor. Hi, reactor. And uh, there's the ECU. It's going to be connected with the reactor for sure. And I'm um, guessing wildly that this will be the way towards the cockpit. Alright, so uh, yeah, the, there's uh, this. Sorry, the end of it. It's looking huge, but it's not really huge. But, well, okay, let's start disassembling. Enough exploring. Let's see what's, uh, what's in the box and uh, in its interiors. So, for this scenario, I feel like one of the easiest ways to get in there. Um, seems to me to destroy that poor little glass panel but hey we're still we're, we're in there at least so I flushed already the um, thrusters so these are safe to diffuse there's a ton of fuel in here a few of those and uh, there's the cells that's what I wanted to say um, whoa oh they're uh, having more cut points so, well, wait a sec. What happened here? So, uh, looks like, uh, wait a sec. We can't, the, the OP factor of the split saw has been removed, ladies and gentlemen. Ha! I didn't, uh, I didn't find the time to, uh, read the, uh, patch notes closely, but yeah, it's the end of the reign of the split saw. Amazing. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. Finally, the stinger uh, seems to have more use than ever. So, uh, what? Wait a second. So, uh, is this, uh, yeah, this is a communications array. But, uh, that was certainly not, um, solar batteries. Amazing. So there's a lot of new things uh, going on here. So does that mean I didn't even know? Uh... No, that was ne never a nacelle to begin with. I, did, I mistook that. It's a sensor array of a, of a fully fledged science ship. Awesome. I love that design. 
There's so many new gadgets to uh, dismantle here. So that's a huge cut point. I noticed that my tool needed a way longer firing time to dismantle to solve that. And uh, wow, so that means I think cut points should be still. Uh, is that a, is that everywhere with the cut points now? I'm really gonna check this out. Like I said, I didn't find the time before uh, recording this. So uh, there's solar batteries now. Awesome. Okay. Let's uh, get back into the ship and uh, salvage the other side of that. Alright. So. Let's check it out. Well, there are plenty of cut points to try. I only uh, read in the patch notes that some cut points now are uh, heat resistant in some way. I don't have a clue how to uh, manage around that. There's a hint that these things can be uh, are not immune against impact damage, but I don't have any clue what the devs want to say to me with that. We're going to find that out though. All right, so um, I think uh, going to dismantle those bad boys. So finally, there's a new ship type that uh, gives a completely new flair and feeling to the game. I like that. I like that. I mean, the uh, heavy and the the heavy cargo gecko is some completely different experience compared to the station hopper too. But uh, well, I, I look, I do like what's happening here. So now to the thrusters and overall to this uh, whole aft section of the ship. Um, with this uh, barrel here that close to me, I'm doing it like that. Sorry if that's a little bit uh, flashy in your face, but I don't want to explode myself with that barrel. So, let's check that out. Oh, I hope I won't explode now, but uh, these pipes should be safe. Famous last words. So, uh, Oxygen reserve bravo. Go. Reminder, as asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas. It's one of them. And I don't think that that's uh, really necessary to do it like that. So, first off, let's refresh the oxygen as soon as I find my way back out here. There we go. I'm a little bit sad that I uh, didn't find chance to use more of my tethers yet, because uh, usually I really do like to uh, Oxygen reserves are critical. use the all the tethers before I remove back, uh, before I float back. But uh, right now I have hardly a clue what I'm doing here. I'm just following the uh, um, the building style of the gecko that I know. It's a uh, rear section is a lot more slim compared to other ships I dismantled before. Alright, so as usual I, I really like to uh, remove the the aft section of the ship first, so let's uh, try to achieve that in this scenario here too. So let's see, what does the split saw do? Yeah, 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 so these cut points still behave as usual. Okay, I'm relieved. I was already afraid that uh, now all the uh, cut points have to be treated differently, but no, it's uh, actually not the case. So, gonna move down here now too, and uh, let's, let's take a few. Oh no, that's uh, that's an aluminum uh, panel below me, and I don't I don't like destroying them. Everything just uh, I feel like it's more messy if I destroy if I cut accidentally in these, into these plates. I don't like cutting accidentally into aluminum. So there we go. Okay. Back there is another cut point. But let's uh, turn on the structural goggles. There's one more. I think that's uh, 
the last one I'll need. There's already uh, stuff floating around me, so yeah, it's already coming loose. Nice. Okay, we did a good job there. Um, going to tether these babies now uh, into this direction because with all the valuable stuff inside, it's a lot easier to uh, manage that once um, the piece of hull has been uh, turned around and uh, you'll just uh, notice in a sec what I'm talking about. I'm not going to do that. So if you uh, place a bad tether, press V, you can cancel it with that. It's the easy way to save your tethers. Okay, so now um, the big panels are moving away. As you can see, I'm having uh, free access to the thrusters. Me happy about that. So let's uh, toss them down there. And... Uh, Make this a happy first shift. So, let's get rid of a few more of those keels. I despise them. They are really like uh, the real menace of the Gecko uh, blueprint. In my opinion, I, I really hate every single uh, keel in this... Uh... Wait a sec. That was okay, wasn't it? Yeah. I hate every single keel in, in the ship because they're heavy and bulky and they eat my tethers and without tethers it's uh, a very very slow process to uh, get rid of them so overall it gets easier the the stronger your um your grapple tool gets but uh yeah so now you can see here getting rid of the explosives is a lot easier when um i have a free access there and besides that, it's going to be very, very easy to uh, toss that piece of uh, hull here into the processor from this point. Alright, so let's uh, get there and float a little bit towards there. So one day for one shift for the aft section is uh, completely okay. Because uh, geckos are no small ships anymore, and uh, doing it safely takes its time. So, uh, well, so far this part of the ship felt like, uh, besides being a little bit more slim, felt very, very similar to what I did before. So, uh, we uh, finished the fuel salvaging uh, goal. Wonderful. Alright, so, uh, let's. Uh, Tether supplies running low. Let's tether it. I have a few tethers left, so I'll get new tomorrow. <laughs> Who wants a tether? Sadly, I don't really have anything uh, cut free that I want to uh, tether away. Oh, there's a fuse. So, mm, I don't want to. Oh, well, let's do that fuse. So with the fuses, you get a pretty nasty zap if you try to remove it um, while the red lights are are lit. And after that thing is out, just do yourself a favor and uh, don't touch the fuses. I don't know if uh, that got removed or if it's still like that, but uh, I only touched a fuse once. It blew a hole into my helmet, then I never touched a, f a fuse ever again. And I, since that day, I lasered every single fuse and run, ran across me, floated across me, whatever. So, it's the, the story of me and the fuses. I just want to use now um, what's left of the time to uh, get rid of a few of the uh, carapace shells, because uh, I'm gonna strip down that thing. Plates are loosening already. So, okay, there's a uh, hole for me. Oh, there's the new cut points. So, just wanna use what's left of my time to 
do something with that. Look at that. Can tether that away too. Hopefully half that minute, which I still have left, will be enough to suck them into the processors. So, uh, here, cut guard. So, what can I do with those guys? I can't burn them. That's, uh, that's what the uh, tutorial said. So, yeah. So, if I go split sawing on it, what's it doing? It's burning. So... Let's check that out on the next shift. So, if I can't just uh, burn them down, that would be a workaround, but that won't be, uh... It won't be a thing I can use everywhere. Alright, so, uh, 2.7 million, that's nice. And let's have a sip of tea and continue. So, just uh, do the little repairs that are just necessary. And let's get working. Alright. So, back to that mysterious cut point thingy. Um, so, it, it is not protected against impact. I still don't understand how to produce an impact. Should I pick some some piece of space garbage and uh, and toss it at that, or or what's the point? What's the uh, idea behind that? Oh gosh, I'm gonna use the tethers for those plates. They're just too heavy. Um, so right now that thing is just burning and burning. So I don't want to get close to that. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't seem to be the solution to me. Like. So, if I go for a power push, no, that's also not the solution. So let's uh, pick up some random space junk, I'd say. But, uh, I've got to find some first. Right now, it seems to me that all I achieved was uh, producing some little and uh, nasty space fire. Because that damn thing just doesn't stop burning. I'm getting the danger music all all day long, so. Hmm. So, uh, well, let's see if I find it out until the end of the episode. If not, I'm going to ask for help for help from the almighty uh, comment section. Alrighty, so, uh, <laughs> look at that thing go, it's still burning. Alrighty. It's uh, making me nervous that I'm getting this action music whenever I get close to the uh, burning uh, structural point. So, uh, I feel like I did something wrong. <laughs> and most importantly, how do I quench a fire in space? Like, how does it even burn in space? It shouldn't be. Alright, so. Let's uh, leave those guys for now. I'm quite happy that uh, we're now having a new a new problem to solve with those ships. Definitely uh, already like that new uh, patch a lot, because uh, it's these little quirks that uh, start to make the game a lot more enjoyable and uh, harder, and thus increasing the replayability value. That's all, all some really, really good things. So maybe I can use those nasty keels to uh, get rid of those uh, things. Maybe that's what the keels are meant for, to toss them into uh, cut guards. Can't imagine that I'm right about that, but I'm still going to try. Because creativity is all I have left when it's uh, when I have to solve problems like these. Alrighty, let's... Uh, oh, there's one more. Oh, two more even. Ooh, oh, three more. What did I do? I missed a whole section. So, that um, that should help. 
So I produced a little bit of a sp of space debris on uh, on my own volition because I, I I seem to need space debris. Maybe that's the key. Maybe it's all about the debris. Okay, so I want to get rid of the uh, outside shell here too. So still didn't touch the interiors here. It's a tragedy. So I think the uh, cut points of the solar panels just uh, behave like uh, the cut points here. That uh, just uh, need several... Um, that just don't dissolve when they're getting hit by the split saw. Okay, so we loosened that one. Let's, uh, let's check out what happens when I uh, start uh, tethering around here. Oh, there's uh, one more set of uh, cut points. I don't have a clue if uh, it's really necessary to laser those guys, but uh, whatever. It's quickly done, so I don't mind. So, uh, alright. So I think the smarter solution would have been to just... Uh, um, cut the last and the, and the first, and then just uh, leave them on a string here. And then I could uh, move them as one object instead of having to move all the panels uh, singular, uh, single. That's a, that's a thing. Okay, whatever. To live is to learn. There we go. So turns out, well, it's uh, taking a little bit too long for my taste. So let's uh, tether that. I mean, that's what your tethers are meant to be used for. To help you doing jobs that would be uh, either impossible or too lengthy. Okay. So, turns out these uh, plates are a little bit uh, heavier than they look. There we go. And, uh, hey! There's access to the generator now. Awesome. Okay. So, four more tethers left. That's uh, not too much to work with. So, there's still coolant in those uh, barrels. That's a little bit uh, outrageous, I think. So, let's see what I can do against that. Alright. So... Your oxygen reserves are low. plate is not adrift at the least little bit. So, most of the time, um, you can tell if you're... if you forgot a few um, cut points or not. Because uh, after the passing of some time, those plates move on their own a little bit. And uh, if everything is just uh, packed tightly together and looks uh, perfectly neat, chances are you're not uh, you're not done with the cut points yet. Oh, what was that? It was a very very wonky approach to the to the kiosk. Yep. So let's uh, buy some utility key utility keys again too. Keep using lots of them and not replenishing them. All right, so I have a few pieces of debris and let's uh, check it out. If I can use that. But first, let me laser around here a bit. So there's another keel. This one. Alright. Next step. I want to uh, somehow get rid of the uh, coolant in those pipes. There are several ways to do that. But the moment I remove the coolants out of those pipes, the same moment this generator will go into meltdown. So, um, you either, you, you better should be prepared when you uh, do that. Alright, so, why is there a keel in mid-space? 
so can somebody tell me how that happened? <laughs> All right. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Let's get finished with the rest of the outer hall. So. Alright, so there's a piece of debris. Let's see. I can't imagine that this is uh, meant to work like that, but let's try it out. Actually, it is. Ha! I'm so smart sometimes. So, uh, the idea is you have some piece of uh, crap and you shoot it at these things. Great. Okay. So, uh, finally, there's some use for, uh, for junk. I like that. Alright. Triumph! Well, so at least I'm now knowing that what I tried here um, didn't sound like complete uh, nonsense to somebody who's no who was already knowing more than me. I'm relieved. Okay, so let's get back to the uh, generator thingy. Um, there are several ways how to tackle that, but one of my favorites is, uh, so I'm pretty sure this is the ECU. And, uh, now we, uh, did that. Don't be too afraid of that. So, we triggered now a reactor meltdown. Don't worry, it should look like that. So, uh, I hope I removed all the pipes now in time. But that's looking good. So, uh, next step, we're extracting the uh, reactor. So, what I did here, uh, in case it didn't make sense to you, I uh, removed the... Um, I, I exploded the um, coolant pipe on, on the point where it won't damage the generator. And then I flew back to the generator, severed the last few pipes from the bottom section of the generator, and then I uh, pulled out this uh, chest, pluck out a few units of uh, aluminum, and then you can remove the generator. You gotta be quick with that one. I think there are safer ways to do that, but this one never let me down. If you're just uh, getting the timing right, everything's great. So. From here on, I think it's just going to be a little bit more of the same old, same old. So uh, what I mean is, um, I'm going to open this thing. We're going to uh, have a little look on the insides of that ship, but I don't think I will be uh, recording the whole uh, second shift because overall, um, well, I think there's a. Uh, we saw pretty much everything of the new Stargazer, at least of this one. It's a very, it's a very, very fun Project ship to dismantle so far, and uh, well, I now at least know how to deal with uh, the. Um, oh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want Project to do that. Um, I now Project know how to deal with the uh, cut guards. It's something nice too. So I think uh, I'm going to. Uh, Actually, try to have something to uh, to destroy them before I start um, to get into that section, like preparing a can of soda, <laughs> or I don't know. So uh, I really do like the new uh, dimension of gameplay that uh, adds here because uh, that certainly is a fun thing. So that sensor array, how is it uh, connected to the ship, though? Look here, is that a cut point? That looks like a cut point. So, uh, there's the sensor array. Sadly, the insides of the ship are um, not too uh, different from um, the uh, gecko as we know it. Like, or, no, uh, the insides of the ship are not resembling a uh, science ship too much here. I, I would have uh, hoped for some more laboratory or, or such. But, uh, hey, maybe that's still coming up. The patch is still young, so um, the Mackerel's got a big bad update as well. So uh, maybe that's going to happen with those things too. So this sensor array wants to go to the barge. Ah, they are the cut points. Just wanted to, to know how to get that. 
Alright. So, a very, very fun new ship. And, uh, I'm pretty surprised about not blowing up myself, because, uh, actually when I started this video, I was, uh, absolutely convinced that it would, uh, end with my death. But, uh, turns out, I just, uh, got a few sears, and apart from that, well, the rest of it here is now, um, going to be the same interior dismantling that we're you which we're used to from geckos and i don't think that's uh nah. i'm not going to record to uh, any much more of that because uh i already walked through that ship with you friends and um uh, basically we saw what there's to see we we can now uh plunder the insides of that ship and uh remove a ton of computers and such but while I love to do these operations, I personally think they're super boring to record them for YouTube. So, I hope you guys enjoyed your stay. I certainly did enjoy the ride terribly. And thanks for watching if you're still around here. Hope you're going to watch more of those videos. And until then, have a wonderful day and goodbye.